about Rhino and this is a summer special episode. I know it's not summer anymore, but why not try to keep it around a bit longer? So this is my top six games for the summer, the ones that I brought with me on vacations. They're all light games. You can easily travel with them. In fact, I used this bag to put them all in there. And they're also light in terms of complexity. You can take them anywhere with you, like on a ferry boat or a balcony to enjoy the view with your friends and not care about the cards going away next to the pool or next to the sea or at the cafe or even or even play underwater let's go have a look Six, we've got Tiny Ninjas. You don't need to worry about the wind with this game cause the box becomes your board. You only need a towel, one more person, good hand management and some luck. You want to defeat them with your awesome tricks, use your senseis for extra help and be an unstoppable ninja. completely at the beach with a beer or a sandwich, gather your friends around and take out Skull. If these are not coasters, you don't need coasters at the beach. It's one of the simplest yet coolest bluffing games. In Skull you want to get into your opponent's minds and outbid them in how many coasters you will flip over without hitting a skull. It accommodates bigger groups of people, you can take it anywhere and you can endlessly enjoy those funky illustrations. the summer breeze, the pool, and storytelling time with Gloom. In Gloom, each player has a family and their goal is to make them as miserable as possible, lower their self-esteem with humiliating events and stories, and eventually kill them off. It may not be super in line with the joyful summer spirit, but it's in a way carefree. Plus, the cards are transparent and plastic and you don't have to worry about getting them wet or damaged. They fare well, unlike the family members in the game. One of the best two-player card games with depth and great replayability with just a handful of cards. You have the theaters of air, land and sea and you want to be the first to get to 12 victory points no matter how many rounds you'll need and how many times you'll have to withdraw. Your eyes are fixed on winning the war, not the battle. It's also really high on my list of top two player games. will allow you to listen to the sea and the birds and everything around you. Railroad Inc. is a roll and ride puzzle that feels a little bit like meditation. Very little talking, lots of thinking and some drawing. Not always pretty, but it's a compact puzzle that you'll enjoy for sure. Number 
one for the brave ones, a great two player game that you can attempt to play underwater. Put on your masks and let the bugs do what they gotta do. Which is to surround the opponent's queen any way they can. And when that doesn't work, well, you can just as well play anywhere else or enjoy the nice view. That's it for this summer. There could be a lot more games in that list, but I can only fit so many games in this bag and I can only fit so many vacations in one summer. So I would like to ask you to write me in the comments, like what other games would you add to this list? I'd love to know. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe because there is new and exciting stuff coming up in this channel. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. After I'm going, I'm going in. After one or two seconds. Can't even be in any episode.